okay guys welcome back wherever you are good morning good afternoon and good evening depending on your location at this time of the day it's a beautiful friday um the 14th day in the month of may 2021 okay so um i quickly want to update you what has been going on today uh across nigeria okay um first of all um just a quick recap that no fatality no damage has been recorded from unknown gunmen that has been ravaging uh, especially the southeastern part of the country okay we know the story so far okay we know everything uh, but today being friday 14 may uh, no incident like that remember a few days ago uh, after the alleged robbery in Aso rock uh, president buari had to convey security meetings emergency security meeting where um, about um, uh, 3200 police has been uh, were deployed to the southern southeastern part of the country and then um, also there was an exclusive today that uh, the military has mobilized more men okay uh, to the southeastern part of the country well uh, we know everything so far so good so as i'm talking to you uh some part in the southeastern part of the country especially olu okay uh, still looks more like a graveyard activities are not moving on very well there then um remember a few days ago when the uh the commission of police in lagos said that ipob and um IPOB is planning to attack Lagos. All right. I don't know how he got such intelligence. So as I'm talking to you, Banji Akinto has raised alarm over some planned attack in Yoruba land. Okay. So you know Nigerians are now being coordinated. That is what I am noticing. Everybody is now being coordinated. Imagine the southern governors. Okay. As in irrespective of their political party affiliation were able to meet that was yesterday in asaba all right since 1914 the first time southern governors had to meet and after their meeting the northern governors elite were against um, their meeting i really don't know why but that is left for the, uh, for them all right so like I said, uh, Banji Akintoye has raised alarm over attack in Lagos. So um, he's a former senator, all right? Uh, and he said, places of worship like Redemption Camp, Bridges, will be targeted, all right? I don't know how this man got his intels from, like seriously, because issues like this, it tire me. I don't know how else to say. How did he got the intel whatsoever? Now, going further, he called on governors uh, to do everything to stop the attack. So, in a letter to uh, the state governors in the southwest, Professor Banji alleged that the entire region has already been surrounded by um, terrorists, something like that. Okay. So, Akinto Yehu is the leader of um, Ilana Omodua. Uh, is the umbrella body uh, for Yoruba Self-Determination Group, said it is necessary for the governors to do something to safeguard the lives and property of the people. And he also said that these um, ISWAP were ready to strike any moment from now. And he has alerted governors in the southwest that the entire region has already been surrounded by these ISWAP. Okay. Um, first of all, I don't know how he got his intels from, intelligence from, uh, that um, Lagos or Southwest will be attacked. Okay. Remember a few days ago, the Commission of Police said uh, my POB um, were planning to attack Lagos. So I love the response of the Southwest people. All right. Even the Ohani Zendibo. Now, this is not about political party. Ohani Zendibo. Uh, when there was a shoot on site um, memo from the military, they kick against it. Must you continue killing people in the east? And then the, when the commissioner said that the IPOB were planning to hit 
Lagos. The people in Lagos said, no, don't say it. You are trying to bring enmity between uh, the South Ways and the uh, South East, that is the Yoruba and the Igbo. Okay? Because when it happens, it will be like, oh, these Igbo people, they are attacking Yoruba and um, it will now cause kind of enmity between Igbo and Yoruba. But the Yoruba said, no, don't try to confuse us. We know your plans. For you to know the level of how this man has subdued yourself to okay so uh, i quickly wanted to update you what the uh, professor kinto yes said okay that um, very soon any moment from now uh, i don't know what is uh, going to happen well let's um hope and pray uh, that the country will be safe for everybody Remember, um, a day uh, for us in one clergyman uh, gave advice uh, some days ago that everybody should be uh, making plans for, as in should be doing a plan B, okay? So a lot of uh, clergymen and Nigerians were, you know, attacking him. You have a private jet. Most of your members, they barely eat three square meal a day, all right? And you are telling them to look for escape route like semi-border and so on. While private jet is already on standby waiting for you. As a leader, are you supposed to run away and leave your own shepherd? All right, so that is, by the way, I quickly wanted to update you um, what Professor Kinto here said. So let us um, pray and hope it doesn't happen uh, because these people know their target remember in niger state they said where they host their flag in niger state is about two hours drive to abuja so don't be surprised if this man is already in abuja like seriously don't be surprised if this man is already there in abuja and very soon all this politician that feels abuja is safe even for them where will they be running to most of them in the northeast, they have not gone to their community for like four years. You know, if Abuja now is not safe, where would they be running to? <laughs> that is um, a very big question. I really don't know if I will be able to answer. But let me know what you guys think on the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. It encourages us to keep you updated what is going on in Nigeria. Right? So, see you guys in another video.